Good morning. I'm back on trail after having a zero day, a two night stay at um, Hostel Around the Bend, which is awesome. I'm not even walking right now. I can't catch my breath. <laughs> um, beautiful hostel. Gordon and Lisa know their stuff. Um, really like gearheads kind of, but like fun. Um, and their gear shop is fully equipped. You could walk in there with nothing and walk out ready to through hike seriously so lovely stay i got the best sleep that i've had so far on this trip last night in the bunk room which is crazy normally in a bunk room i don't sleep great there's usually lots of snorers but i got six and a half solid hours plus a little bit more it was great um got my new shoes on really hoping they work they sell topos at their outfitter not hokas. I needed to go up a size, half a size. And um, they feel really good. I love the toe box. It's like an ultra, but it has the cushion of like a hoka. Um, on my right foot, it's just rubbing a tiny bit on the heel. But I think in a mile when my feet start swelling up again, it'll be fine. Oh, we'll see. So today's plan is staying alive, staying alive. And there's two shelter options. So there's a one a short distance away. The weather is supposed to get worse as the day progresses. So it might be the short, the closer shelter that I'm aiming for, but I'd really like to get like 12 miles in today. So we'll see what happens and I will let you know. I am 3.7 from the shelter I'm aiming for. It stopped raining for the first time today. And I think it's just after 1 p.m. Uh, I have just been stopping long enough to eat a snack and keep going. Uh, Topos are doing great. So excited. And I'm about to cross into North Carolina real soon, uh, within a mile and a half or so, I think. I just went on far out and looked. It's 0 0.7 to North Carolina. All right. I'm so excited. And then three more miles to the shelter. So, I might actually get a spot in the shelter. So, as long as I have a tent spot where hopefully it's protected from the wind, that is expected. I'll be all right. I can put up a good pitch. So, all right. Yeah, I'll see you at the border. I am here. I am in North Carolina. We just walked here from Springer Mountain, Georgia. Finally. <laughs> the longest flip-flop hike ever. We're going to finish with the year classic sign. And um, yeah, I'm trying not to put my jacket on. Uh, if I get cold enough, I will. But as, it motivates me to move really fast and then I'm warm um, in this awesome Merino Wool Ridge shirt. And uh, I'm in North Carolina, my home for 20 years. I love you, North Carolina. I get to see my daughter soon. Really exciting. All right, I gotta put this away because it's cold anyways. They're spectacular. Spectacular, spectacular. It's about 1.50 p.m. and I have 2.4 miles to go to get to the muskrat shelter. And for a moment, maybe longer, I don't know, I'm on the west side of the ridge, I think, which is cutting down on the wind. On the other side, it's pretty blustery. A droplet of water, like, it hit my lip, it hurt. Uh, all right, I'm climbing up 2.4 before two o'clock. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna give myself a Dundee Award. Ah, oh, yes, for being a bad freak hiker. I just want to thank my topos. I couldn't have done it without you. It is a little after seven, I think. I'm in my tent, it's dark. Um, it had finally stopped raining after getting my tent up. I managed to throw myself in my tent, soaking wet. The shelter's full. It says it holds eight. There are six and they are like shoulder, shoulder. And one of them is a child, like it's full. 
have multiple layers of dry clothes and I have a hot hands on my neck and I have my filter and my battery in my sleeping bag with me. And so even though things got pretty dang damp, like I'm still very dry and warm. Um, my body heat will dry some things some more, but it was a great day. I'm so excited. It was 11.8 miles and rained nearly the entire time. There was literally just minutes where it didn't rain. So it was really muddy and I was being really careful and I still made it in exactly seven hours. I think I could have done it in six hours if it wasn't so wet and like dangerous and slippery and muddy, but the topos did amazing. My, like, the bottoms of my feet hurt and my knees hurt a little, but no more than they ever did with the hokas. But my toes, my little piggies are so happy because they can move around in that giant toe box. Topos, who knew? So, so happy that um, the outfitter had something that worked for me at Around the Bend. Thank you so much, Gordon and Lisa and crew. You're all awesome. It's gonna be sunny the next two days. So I'm sure I'll be packing up a wet everything in the morning, putting on wet clothes. But by midday, I'll find a place to like air and dry and warm things up with the sun. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.